It's my life. And how's it going, church? Welcome to the Secrets of Fatherhood vlog, where we dedicate fatherhood to Christ. Today's series will be the sermon series. We'll be talking about how Jesus was on purpose. That's right. If you have not checked out my other series, which has nothing to do with scripture, it's the fatherly series. Check it out on IGTV or YouTube. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. So let us continue. Today we'll be reading off of Mark, I believe, and it is Mark 1, 35 through 39 and it goes simon and those who were with them searched for him and they found him and said to him everyone is looking for you and he said to them let us go on to the next towns that i may preach there also for that is why i came out there you go jesus mission started off right if you remember mission right your vision your mission your purpose right not in that order but he had his mission he had his vision his purpose was to preach right his vision was for him to die on the cross for our sins his mission was all of the events that he went through right and his values was what he preached you see how he was on purpose how awesome is that Jesus is the perfect example of character, maturity, keeping your word, a person who knows how to endure suffering, how to be stoic. Jesus was a stoic and I yearn to be like this man. I really do because I, I remember when I was younger, man, I didn't let nothing faze me. But you know what, man, when you miss your children so much, it kind of takes this emotional toll on you. And I realized that that's the only time I'm emotional is with my children. But we can't even show that kind of emotion, man, because we're deemed as weak. That's all right. I don't care what people say. And I speak up for us, man. I know what you're going through. I know your pain. I know your suffering. That's the reason I create these videos. To let you know, man, hey, even the greatest... Even Jesus, the one who carried the cross, who preached love and grace and mercy. And for us just to repent of our sins, just to turn up from our ways, to be responsible and to pick up our cross, to deny ourselves. That's what he came for, right? That's what he says. If you want to be my disciple, you got to deny yourself and pick up your cross. And that means that you got to take accountability of your life and stop blaming people for how your life has turned out. Right? That's, that's the reality of it. And if you don't want to follow him, he says, you're not my disciple. It's either you're, you're hot or you're cold. You can't be in between. If you're lukewarm, I'm going to spit you out of my mouth. That's what he says. So are you real with Christ? Are you lukewarm? Because if you're lukewarm, you're not going to experience blessings. You're not going to see. You're never going to mature. You're never. Not with Christ. Not like that. But if you become hot, meaning you're fire for the holy spirit and for christ you will suffer you will go through so many trials you will suffer pain and betrayal and financial problems you will go through so much but it's to develop your characters for you to grow up and i've seen it and i told you guys for those who didn't watch that video on why i feel that parental alienation exists in a christian way in a crazy way is why not so we as fathers can always have a standard that will be set for the rest of men. That's it. Some of you have your children, dude, and I'm telling you, some of you guys are impatient with your children, don't love your kids, don't spend time with them. And there's parents, there's fathers who want to try, man. And we look at you and we're like, man, if you only knew, if you only knew. And so we're set here to put that standard high, to put people on check. It's, it's weird. It's weird, but think about it for a second. Now, Jesus was on purpose. And in his purpose, he suffered. So I just want to let you know that. That's it. That's all I want to let you know. If you develop that on purpose plan, you will suffer. Get ready for that. Don't say that you weren't warned. If you make that on purpose and you do it, with, I want to spiritually, because there's a spiritual kind. I want to pray. I want to get closer to God. I want to become a better Christian and be careful of these words 
I want to be like your son Jesus. If you say these words, get ready. Because it's going to get real. <laughs> and you'll mature though. You'll grow. And that's a good thing. All right, guys, I hope that helps somebody understand how Jesus was on purpose and him being on his purpose. He went through a lot, but he overcame it and we're still preaching about him. <laughs> That's how powerful his purpose was. That's how impactful our purpose needs to be, gentlemen. Have a good one. Good night. Hug your little ones, guys, if you have them. And don't forget, this is where we come to grow and mature and take the pain to Christ. God bless you, gentlemen.